came around the corner and legit thought this was a zebra. It's not a zebra, it's a horse in a zebra outfit. <laughs> what is this? We'll see. I wasn't expecting that. As much as I love France, I have missed the stone walls. I've not missed this weather though. <laughs> I came out with uh, just like a jersey on, obviously you can see. It's bloody freezing. I'm, I'm missing not only the weather, how quiet the roads were, and the main thing I'm missing is the rest of the girls. And obviously Rob and Mo, but mainly the girls. I just had, I think you saw from the videos, I just had the best time. So yeah, today I'm just doing a, I don't even know how far I'm gonna do today because I'm basically doing a loop around the Peak District, not the whole Peak District, but across because some friends are coming over from Sheffield. They're doing a loop the opposite way. So we're hoping to like meet in the middle and ride for a little bit, but they're not at their first cafe stop yet. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. And so from those videos from France, there were so many comments and questions basically asking or saying, I wish I had a group of friends to do that kind of adventure with. And so I thought I would just share a couple of the ways that I've met the groups of friends that I have in cycling. So if you are feeling like you want to meet other people, like these are just a couple of the ways that, that I've met them. So I actually met Lou via Instagram when she did the Tour de France in 2019. We just got chatting on there. And then I met the rest of the internationals. So Instagram is an amazing way just to like meet people. There's loads of different, um, like groups and then individuals as well. So that's a really good one. Uh, the other one, so I met um, Ange and Kate who I'm riding with today. I think I met Ange via, I think it was at an Audax. So I went on my own, met her there. She set up a Facebook group uh, called Peak Breve. So search for Facebook groups. And if there isn't one that you are into, because this one is called Peak Breves and it's um, for like long distance riders around the Peak District. Um, I'll leave a link to it below if you want to join. But if there's not one that you want, or there's not one that you can find, just set one up, set your own up, because people will come. Um, then I also ride with Rafa, so your local club is a really good way to meet people. Let us know how you met your group of cycling friends in the comments. August, UK. You wouldn't think you'd need a bloody gilet. It's freezing. All right, Tinkle. Oh, oh. But look at that view! And now I'm going up to a castle on the hill. I'm going up there. I think it's going to get pretty steep actually. I should probably put the camera away. Can confirm it was pretty steep. And this is another reason why joining a club or an Audax is amazing because you get the best route. So this is a CTC Sheffield ride and I'm just like kind of do it reverse to meet them. I didn't even know this was here because when they said it's like Castle Hill and I was like never heard of it. I'm like oh it's quite steep and it's a castle on a hill. But look at it look how beautiful that is. What's that? <gasps> little wasp. Look at it. One little problem though of uh, taking someone else's route. Gravel. Come down gravel that side and now it's navigating me down there so a little magical mystery tour of Castle Hill and it's there's loads of little paths up here though, like look at all this. One, two, three, four. I don't know what that is. Don't take other people's routes, plan your own routes. God, there's bloody, but look at this. Oh shit, which way's the route going? There's one there and one there. I'll just get me back on the bloody road. Woohoo! Oh, I'm on the wrong side. So excited to see the, uh, the tarmac that I forgot that I was in the UK and I need to ride on the left. I found him. So they saw the the gravel way I came down and they were like, no, we're just gonna go up the way I rode. So it's a bit further out. So it's my second time up this today. Look up. Feels like you're gonna fall on your backside. Oh my, it really does. Go on, have a look. Do it. <laughs> it's a bit like when somebody goes, that beer's horrible. To Taste you. it. <laughs> oh, nice to see you. Love to see you. <laughs> it's been so long. Oh. They said they, um, a couple of them took a little missed turn down a big hill and then they had to climb all the way back up the hill. Oh what area are we in? To Haydage. Yeah, Haydage. Haydage. So basically they, they've gone on another climb that they've likened to home moss that I've not done before. So they're bigging it up. So Gareth, I've got high hopes. 
gravel. No, it's not, it's not gravel. I don't know though, Gareth's potted it. Yeah, who knows? Gareth is it gravel? No, either. Oh, it cafe was, isn't it? So. All the gravel. Oh. I'm amazed that all these people are still following me. So I saw Anne shoot out of that other climb and she went back in to get back on and we were just saying like, I can't do this either. We can't get going again on climbs no, to get clipped That wasn't the end of the climb, that was somebody's yard. <laughs> was it? Oh, I thought that was where you came out from. Oh God. I'm, yeah, I can't, we can't clip in. No, I can't. And that's why I wear mountain bike, that's why you wear, is that why you yeah, wear mountain bike shoes? Yeah. Purely, because we're doing a lot of climbing. Can't do a hill starts and I can't turn right in the road. <laughs> Still can't do it. Can you turn? Is that the same? I'm not right. I'm not uh, right at turning right, but like if there's a load of traffic coming and it's downhill, and then I've got to take my hand off. The <laughs> nope, no, nope, no. Nope. So we've all got little things that we can't, still can't do. Still managed to ride a long way though. It's a bit, it's a bit spicy. Than I thought it was going to be. Hello. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, hello. I've got in here. Oh, I've got some toothpaste. <laughs> Just in case. Got some more tools. Look how nice this bag is. I was like, oh, that was nice. Show us what you've got double Don't of. Should we pair kit or two dental not flosses? Just, <laughs> not just say goodbye to them. I'm heading back this way because if I go that way, I've got, got to go back via Woodhead and it's not as nice as going back via Dovestone. So I'm going the Dovey's route. The head and crosswind. Oh, I had to climb up the other side of just stones. Oh, it was so long and so windy. Look at my favourite dubbies. I know as soon as I get back, I'm just gonna want to eat and just like, just flop. Oh, that wind, I hate the wind. You have to choose wind or rain. I'd choose rain every time. Oh, would I? Oh, I just hate wind. I really hate the wind. That wind did me in, so, I mean, it's I'm pretending that I'm in France. It's not Orangina, is it? Also like down. I'm a pop snob. Ugh. 